The rip before the rip. What is up, guys? I've been saying for days, for weeks on my live streams and in my videos that we needed a green day on the market to open up AMC for big institutional money to come in. And that in general, as the market was going down 1%, AMC would go down 4 to 5%. And on the day that the market decided it was going to be green, that we would see the same type of move going up. Today, the market went up about 1.6% on the S&P. And what happened? AMC up almost 6%, 5.7% up on AMC, closing out the day at $40.07. What's up? I am Tony DeNaro, and although I am very cautious about some of the economic conditions that the market has been worried about, those have not gone away. We did get a bit of good news in the economy today, and the market ran with it, and I am just loving it. In the financial sector, we had multiple banks reporting better than anticipated earnings, including Bank of America. And on top of that, we had jobless claims, which were better than expected, reported this morning. Now, all of the other things that I'm watching as far as macroeconomic worries have not gone away, but I will take any bit of good news on any day that we can get it. The market has been beaten down for weeks with different things that people are worrying about in the economy. Today is just proof that when those worries go away, the market's going to go back up and AMC is going to go right back up with it. And if today was just a test run, I am calling this the rip before the rip. I had three lines of resistance from previous pricing that I drew on the chart this morning and we just blew right past every single one of them. In the first couple of hours of trading, starting the morning at 3760-ish, and running all the way up to over $40.50 by 11 o'clock in the morning. We hit a high today of $41.10 and closed out the day at $40.07. A great day to be a bull in AMC and what a drubbing for those that are buying puts and short selling AMC. Usually on Wednesdays, I start looking at the option chain to figure out the max pain point and make my estimate of where the stock is going to close on Friday. 95% of the time I nail that within 25 to 50 cents. Uh, I have been experimenting with using Swaggy Stocks after one of my viewers turned me onto it. Swaggy Stocks has the max pain close on Friday at $38. Using the old fashioned eyeball method, the way that I've always done it, just by taking a look at the open interest on the options chain, I kind of feel like they're going to want to close AMC at $40, maybe just under $40 on Friday. So, do not be surprised if the price is massaged or manipulated a little bit by the market makers to get that max paying close point on Friday. And don't worry about that because it is not indicative of what will happen next week. I do want to close out today by touching on this SRNYSE 2021-60. Thank you for Charlie's vids for bringing this to our attention. I will put a link to this rule in the video description so you can read the entire thing at your leisure and so you can follow the links to submit your comments to the NYSE. Yes, it is troubling to know that there is a rule that would permit the chair of the board of the exchange or the CEO or the officer designee of the chair to suspend trading in any and all securities whenever, in their opinion, such suspension would be in the public interest. No such suspension would continue longer than a period of two days unless the board approves the continuation of such suspension. This rule will apply to the NYSE and apparently the exact same rule is already in place on NYSE American, NYSE ARCA, NYSE Chicago, and NYSE National. So what we are talking about is these bottom four, one, two, three, four, this rule is already in place and they are proposing to add the rule to the top one, the NYSE, to make it in compliance with all the other affiliate exchanges. So on the one hand, you could say this rule is already in place in four-fifths of the affiliate exchanges. What's the big deal if it's on the NYSE? I think the part that bothers me the most is the words in the chairman's opinion, if it serves the public interest. I'd just like a little more details about exactly what that means. Wouldn't you? Use the link in the video description and send them your questions. Be aware that whatever comments you make and whatever personal information that you divulge will be viewable by the public. I'm Tony DeNaro. I live stream every day during market hours. I'm bullish as heck on AMC. I love to talk about other stocks too. Hope to see you on a future live stream. 
Don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. So you wanna go